Let's imagine for a moment that you were the mayor of Washington, D.C., and crime rates are skyrocketing. What would you do to fix it? You might consider eliminating the cashless bail system that they have there, and instead returning to a traditional bail system. Or you might want to actually lock up criminals and keep them so. And you might instead want to place your priority on making sure that law-abiding citizens have access to what they need to defend themselves and pushing to make sure that changes in the in the laws get you know get get passed in accordance with that but that's not what the actual mayor of Washington DC did instead she decided that to fix this problem the ideal solution here is you know because car thefts are rampant in Washington Washington DC well, they'll, they'll hand out air tags. For those who don't know, an air tag is a little GPS tracker that works with iPhone systems in order to help you find something that's been lost. So you hide one in your car somewhere, and that way when your car inevitably gets stolen, you can tell the police and they can track it and they can go get your car back. Because that's the solution. I mean, it's so absurd. It's like the escalating rates of crime are because these the same people are back on the streets. They're not being held at all. There's being nothing done about the criminal population. And yes, in Washington DC, they are alarmingly disarmed. There's this constant fight uh, amongst those who want the constitutionally protected right to, to bear arms and those who want to infringe upon it. And so there's, it's just constantly inside of different lawsuits to try and get people their basic rights. Um, and so it, you have this, this situation where so many who are committing crimes don't ever expect any pushback. In fact, what they expect is that if anyone defends themselves or their property against uh, the criminal class, it will be the, the law-abiding person, generally, who gets into trouble. And that's the environment in which the people in Washington, D.C. live. And yeah, it's a very heavily democratic um, city. Um, by democratic, I mean Democrat. Uh, I believe it was, if I remember correctly, and I'll, I'll check this and put it on the screen, I thought it was like 97% uh, voted for Hillary Clinton in the um, election against Donald Trump, just to give you some idea of what it's actually like out there. And... And you see the sort of ramifications of it. And also you see that in elected representatives as well who decide that it's not really that big of a deal if residents are constantly losing their property and also being attacked and unable to defend themselves because the criminals have just had a hard life. So, you know, what can one do? And that particular attitude leads to, well, everybody having a really hard life because there's no attempt at instituting any sort of like responsibility at all. And you'll see this spread. You, you, I mean, really, it's already spreading. You see this, this kind of thing mirrored in different states, different Democrat states especially, around the country. It's a, it's sort of like this inversion of who is your priority. Is your priority those who are committing crimes or those who are just trying to, you know, live their lives? Um, and, and protect their, their property and their freedom and their family. Uh, we can we can see this inversion that has taken place such that the criminal class and those who refuse to work get preferential treatment above everybody else and it's it's really it's really evil to to reverse the the order of priority like that and that's what's being done and that's what's spreading if you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.